What is going on you guys? My name is Marcus. As always, you're watching Roads Untraveled and behind me is the brand new Kia Stinger GT. Okay, now you're probably thinking, look at that badge. That is a disgusting badge. I want nothing to do with that Kia badge right there. And I was thinking the same thing. Uh, but it's got a twin turbo V6 under the hood. 375 horsepower stock and this one is slightly modified by our good friends over at Torque Motorsports here in Seattle, Washington. Uh, so we are going to find out if Kia has actually stepped up their game a little bit uh, when it comes to being the new kid on the block in the powerhouse sedan market. Uh, so let's go take off our drive and see what she can actually do. Left foot on the brake, right foot on the gas. And you do a burnout. Oh yeah! <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome to the brand new Kia Stinger. That was a really good introduction. Um, yeah, I said Kia and uh, I said Stinger, which is pretty cool because nobody names their cars cool names anymore these days. Uh, but the Kia Stinger is one exception and it's got a twin turbo V6 under the hood, making 375 horsepower from the factory. This one is making, I think, a little bit over 400, but here's the thing. We're gonna find out. We're gonna dyno this car today. This thing has 2,000 miles on it. We're gonna dyno it. We're gonna give you guys the raw numbers, everything you need to know about the brand new Kia Stinger, the car that nobody saw coming. All right, so the first thing you notice when you start driving this car is the turbo sounds coming from under the hood. The blow off and just the rushing air, like it's a recirc valve, but you get some really, really cool noises from it uh, when you let off boost, which is pretty cool. Uh, like I said, it's a twin turbo V6, it's a 3.3 liter, um, and it kind of took the market by surprise. This is like an M and AMG competitor, or at least trying to be, and it's, it's pretty cool. Like, it's a Kia, so you look at the badge and you're like, I would never buy a Kia. <laughs> and I'm speaking for me, but I'm speaking for a bunch of my car friends as well, because we all grew up around the same time, uh, and Hyundai and Kia were the two manufacturers that we used to always make fun of for just being cheap and terrible cars. Now Kia is making this, the Stinger, which is like, you can tune it up to 500 or so horsepower. thank you to John over at Torque Motorsports here in Seattle, Washington for tossing us the keys to this uh, Kia Stinger for the day. Um, John does some awesome tuning. They tune a bunch of cars. Uh, Eddie from Pistons and Petrol, great YouTube channel. Check it out. Uh, he is over there right now getting his Fiat 124 Spider tuned a little bit. Uh, he's doing a big turbo build on that, aiming for big power. You will remember him from his uh, 280 wheel horsepower Fiat 500 that we drove about a year ago. Crazy car. Um, and John does a lot of awesome tuning and this is their next project. This is their next shop car and John has big plans. They want to hit about 550 horsepower in this thing, which will be nuts. As it stands now, this will run a 12.5 second quarter mile in a Kia, who would have ever thought? I mean, kind of embarrassing that this car is about a second faster down the quarter mile than my MR2. My MR2 is about a 13.6, that's my best run. Uh, and it's a Kia, out the door for $37,000 US. Now this is a base, it's a Stinger GT, right? So it does have that twin turbo, um, but it is the kind of the stripper model base of the GT. Uh, so you don't have nav, you don't have all the parking sensors and stuff like that. But the only thing that really matters is you have awesome mid-range torque and mid-range punch, uh, rear wheel drive, and a, I believe it's an eight speed automatic. So it's not a dual clutch, uh, but nonetheless, very responsive uh, and a lot of fun to drive. This thing is a little bit heavy. The Stinger is a the Stinger's a big girl, okay? About 38,000 pounds, uh, up to 4,000 pounds, depending on your spec. Brembo brakes all around as well. Very welcome because, like I said, it's very heavy. Got a lot of weight carrying around here. <laughs> it's 
So this is the open diff. It does not have the lifted slip, unfortunately. So right back there, I tried to get sideways. I really did, uh, but it just wouldn't let me, you know, one tire fire all day long. But that being said, uh, in a straight line, it hooks up really well. It's got paddles. Is it a, yeah, <laughs> that got a little bit sideways there. Is it a pretty car? I Honestly, I wouldn't say so. Um, John was saying the, the rear quarter panels or whatever in the back look a little bit big. I kind of agree with him on that. It's got some vents here and there. I think it's just the right amount of like vents without making it just super riced out. Um, the front end's aggressive, but it's still just kind of like square. Torque comes on incredibly strong, very quick. As with uh, any modern turbocharged car, you would expect the turbo leg to be basically non-existent and to have a lot of low end down torque thanks to those turbos. And yeah, you do, okay? Like below 3000 RPM, it's really nice. You get some really meaty low end torque, like 2000 RPM. Little tire slippage there, ooh. It's very quick though. And honestly, the steering is what has been surprising me the most about this car but like in comfort the steering definitely kind of eases up a little bit but even still it's very nice the paddles are very responsive and this is only $37,000 I can't wrap my mind around that if you spend $37,000 on a WRX or an STI you're getting like 75 less horsepower and this has a nicer interior than a brand new STI or at least on par for sure. Uh, we're gonna take a quick little look on the interior because it seems people who have been reviewing this car uh, have not really touched on the interior too much, probably because they're so wild that Kia came out with a 400 horsepower sedan. So here we'll start with the key. Pretty cool design, uh, very easy to look at, very easy to hold. Um, it's got like a hefty weight to it. It's a nice, it's a nice key, so that's a good start. Um, steering wheel, onto the steering wheel. We'll start with that. Materials, um, Grayson and I kind of both agree that this material on the top here, like the kind of fake leather kind of stuff, perforated, not so bad, but like up here, it's not the greatest. Like the steering wheel still has a little bit of flimsy feel to it, especially in the center when you see that this like plastic here. Um, I don't know. I like the flat bottom. That's good and everything. The grip itself is fine. The paddles are great. Uh, but other than that, um, the gauge cluster, they should have done something special with the gauge cluster um, and maybe put the GT badge somewhere in the center, maybe spice it up a little bit. Who knows? But it's basically just pulled out of uh, another Kia. You know, there's nothing special about the gauge cluster in particular. And we can go through the drive modes here real quick. So it's got a uh, smart mode, which I believe just kind of assesses how you're driving, if you're being a lunatic or if you're being a normal day-to-day -day average grandmother. Uh, just driving it how you would around the city. It'll kind of adjust its uh, suspension and steering and power and throttle response to that. Uh, and then you have eco mode, and then you have comfort, sport, and custom. And this car actually has launch control as well. So in order to get it into um, everything off mode, which is what you guys, I'm hoping fans of Roads and Travel want as drivers, is turn everything off. Don't granny me in any way. So you hold the traction control button for a little bit, Okay, now traction and stability is off, and then you press these two buttons, and then now everything is off. Uh, and then if we really wanted, we could do that. That's not launch control. Um, anyways, <laughs> that's because we're in park. Uh, <laughs> it sounds pretty cool, uh, but the interior, things that I like about the interior is, you know, they didn't take too many chances, which can be a good thing, can be a bad thing but it's very simple. It's got everything you need, nothing more, uh, nothing less. It's got heated seats. It does not have a heated and cooled steering wheel, but again, this is kind of the base model uh, of the Stinger GT. And other than that, uh, the design is nice. It's a nice place to be. These seats really hold you in. They're not like OEM supplied Recaros or anything, but then again, um, it is kind of a bigger, like it's a full size sedan, right? So it isn't, you know, your twisty mountain road kind of car. But uh, the interior, it's got some good features and uh, it actually has this auto hold mode, which is really cool. So the e-brake is now off. Um, so if we put it in drive, obviously the car will start moving forward. But now if I put on auto hold, no matter what surface you're on, 
or grade, it will hold the car there. We're in drive, it should be creeping forward, but it's not. That's another cool little feature. Um, when would you use that? I'm not sure, just put on the e-brake. <laughs> but it's a good feature nonetheless. Uh, so materials are pretty good for the most part. They all look really good to look at. It's a nice thing, there's nothing that stands out to me that's like, what is that? Why'd they put that there? Um, there's a little bit of um, kind of Cadillac-esque piano black, really glossy plastic here. But again, uh, I really like this brushed aluminum look over here. That's good. Very basic. It's a Kia, okay? You get into this car for $37,000. You're not expecting all this crazy stuff. But again, you get everything you need, which is good. Oh, launch control ready. There we go. There's a blip. That is proper launch control. And that is 10 miles an hour. <laughs> okay, it's a fast car. We get it, Kia. You built a fast car. Now you guys know, the internet knows, Kia can build a properly fast car and have it sound good and have it look halfway good. Um, and you know, the interior is decent. Any car that puts a smile on my face, I will probably remember. Or makes me laugh. That's an even better indication. <laughs> like, it's fast. It's not, it's not blistering fast, okay? It's not tear your face off fast. But it's a very fast sedan, like 4,000 pounds uh, is a lot of weight to carry around. I mean, I'm used to being around Skylines, Supras, M3s, Mustangs, stuff like that. Stuff that is meant to be exciting. A Kia is not meant to be exciting. Kia is meant to be boring. You're meant to forget about Kias. But I'm going to remember this one for sure. It's not perfect. And I probably would never buy one. But that being said, I'm going to remember this. Please let me know what you guys think of the Kia Stinger in the comments below. I'm Out of any cars, I'm super curious as to what you guys think about this car. It's the new kid on the block. Uh, it kind of stunned everybody with the amount of power it has, and now guys like John at Torque Motorsports are going to see where the true potential lies under this hood, uh, and they're just getting started. So check out John over at Torque Motorsports here in Seattle, Washington. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.